right. So we have hi YouTube, hi chat. Chat, say hi to YouTube. We, we're doing a video here. Welcome YouTube. Um, you can catch me live every day on twitch.tv forward slash Kathy. Don't forget to join me. We're having a good time. We're doing our best. Anyway, we finally have the sensor tower monthly revenue for phone. And we have them here separated between, um, you know, like just global and essentially um, things. We're going to check the global first because this is overall the result we want to have a look at and see what's been happening lately. As we can see, we have... Uh, I'm not going to go through absolutely everything, to be perfectly honest, because uh, I'm just lazy, to be honest. But there's a few things I do want to have a look here overall, like very quickly. Uh, we can see Girls Frontline is still going down. To be honest, the focus is on Girls Frontline 2, which I wonder... Girl Frontline 2 is here. It's uh, a little bit above 1 million, which is pretty good, right? We also have some new stuff like Reverse Blue, X Rebirth, and I don't know what it is. I saw it like on a few like YouTube videos here and there, but nothing absolutely like amazing. Uh, ReZero, which Resurrection, which is another ReZero gacha game that came out not super long ago. Uh, apparently, it's not doing super, super well. This month has been a bit better, but still like pretty underwhelming, I would say. Um, anything else of note in here? Tower of Fantasy is still kind of going down, like holding on for dear life. I mean, to be fair, the NTE is going to be coming out relatively soon, I think. So it's not that bad. Um, Tower of God is still here. Cat Fantasy. Jesus Christ! Cat Fantasy is going hard. It went from 243,000 to over a million. To be fair, I think. Did Cat Fantasy, I feel like Cat Fantasy released toward the end of last month, so maybe it didn't have that much revenue by comparison. And then we gotta take in mind that there was also the Neko Para uh, collaboration that did happen. So I feel like a lot of people probably like went there to have a try and like pull for those characters uh, from the collab and all of that, so that's probably why. Uh, Persona 5 The Phantom X is still like doing okay, I suppose. Also, it's been officially announced that it was going to come out in Japanese servers. We still don't have any news regarding global servers, unfortunately, but, I mean, stuff is happening. Uh, Brown Dust 2, still doing pretty good. It's nice to see it uh, here, just kind of chilling, you know? And uh, we also know that Brown Dust 2 is having a collab tomorrow uh, with Senran Kagura, right? So that's pretty cool. Uh, PGR still holding on. Limbus Company went back up massively. I don't know what happened there. I guess it was like a big summer event or something. Langreaser. I didn't even know there was like a Langreaser gacha game. That's crazy. Tears of Temis! Representing! Hell yeah! I need to play Tears of Temis 100%. Um, AFK Arena doing good. Guilong Chao. So Guilong Chao is a new game. It's only on Chinese servers at the moment. And for those who don't know, it's a uh, pretty good looking game actually. It's like a side scroller, beat them all kind of gameplay. It looks pretty good. Very interested. Um, I do want to give it a try when it first comes out uh, globally, hopefully, if it does. Let's hope it does. And it has a pretty good starting month, uh, almost getting 3 million. So that's pretty nice. Fire Emblem Hero is still going strong. Memento Mori as well. Sword of Convaleria. So this is the, the big game I've been playing lately. Uh, it came out not super long ago. And we can see here it dropped from nine, almost 10 million to 3 million. Uh, I would assume it's because there was like some big banners last month. Uh, compared to this month, I think some of the characters this month have been a bit underwhelming by comparison. Also, we're like a two month after release or something, so uh, I'm assuming some people might be losing interest and whatnot. But this is still very, very good, to be honest. Um, Battle Cat still raking it. Where's Battle Cats? Oh, yeah, right there! Look at that! Insane! That's what you like to see, dude. <laughs> Heaven Burns Raid, still doing pretty good. The global version has been announced for release. We're still waiting on that, obviously. Uh, Snow Break, uh, still holding strong. The peak degeneracy is still working. Honkai Back 3rd went up a little bit, uh, which is interesting because I don't feel like last month had that many new big thing happening. We had like the new Terry Terry costume, I guess. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like Honkai Impact 3rd is probably going to go higher with the release of the, the upcoming patches. We're going to have a collab with Sparkle, um, this kind of stuff. So I think this might get some new player in. Some people playing HSR might give a try to Honkai Impact 3rd. I, I guess we'll see, but there's potential here for sure. 
Uh, Final Fantasy VII's Evil Cry. I can't believe Evil Cry is still raking in, dude. Like, that game was so bad. Final Fantasy VII Evil Cry is... Okay, the monetization was bad. Uh, like, as absolutely terrible. But I guess it, it's bringing in the money. Uh, Blue Archive still going pretty good. Uh, there was, like, some... There was, like, some, some big banners with some limited characters. So I, I assume a lot of people, like, dropped a lot of cash in it. Uh, this is still pretty good. Like, almost 6 billion is a lot of money. Uh, reverse 1999. Insane. Absolutely insane. Going back up. I think there was, like, a... Was there an anniversary or something going on? I, I know there was, there was, like, a high patch people were excited about. So I, I'm assuming this is why it happened. Uh, what do we have here? Zero lane! Zero lane! And like you see me doing work, doubling the revenue, almost 2.5ing the revenue. Insane. Look at that. You love to see it. You absolutely love to see it. Insane. <laughs> oh, wow. This is beautiful. Funny people for sure. Yeah, 100%. Uh, Nikkei still doing very well overall. There was the call. I'm actually surprised. It seems that the collab did not do as well as I thought. Um, unless did the collab start two months ago? I don't remember. But yeah, there was a, a big collab with um, uh, freaking Evangelion. That was fun. I enjoyed it. Uma Musume. Man, Uma Musume never lets up. And I'm so excited for the global release because I've heard so much good about this game. I want my horse girls in global. Give me the horse girls. Uh, we can see Naruto Mobile, Dragon Ball still here. Yeah, they're doing, they're just like, you know, enjoying their, their high placement here. Zenit Zone Zero is steady, growing slowly. There was the, the Jade banner, right? So I assume a lot of people did spend on the banner. Uh, and Jade was pretty hype, and I mean, we had a lot of very hype characters in a row, right? I mean, Ellen, Drian, Shinji, Jane, uh, and now, I mean, with Caesar and Bernice, I feel like this is not gonna go down anytime soon. AFK Journey went down massively, but for context, um, the months prior was the official Chinese release date, so the revenue went up massively because of that. There was also, like, one of the best DPS in the game came out at the same time, which was Lily May. So I think that was kind of kind of a outliner in terms of like months, and now it's kind of going back to something a bit more reasonable. Uh, but yeah, this is still very very good. Don't, don't get me wrong. Here we have Genshin Impact, still raking it in. Obviously, with the release of Natlan, uh, they kept the momentum. They are not dropping, and with Jilonen coming out soon, Jilonen was going to be able to rival. To some extent, um, a character like Kazuha, which has been one of the fan favorite and massively meta character for the longest time since it released. I think there's going to be some people pulling for that Chilomen for sure. And now, massive surprise! Star Rail! Dethroned in love in deep space! No one saw that one coming! Everybody saw that love in deep space was here to keep it's top one spot forever, but no, the Lady Coomers, the Lady Coomers failed and fell. They dropped, despite putting in 12 more millions into the game. It was not enough. Storrel still took that spot. Fei Shao is making the men cooms way more than Love in This Space made the female coom. It is what it is. Nice try, though. Nice. Good job, good job. Good fight, good fight of role. But you might think this is sad. Is this sad? Is this sad? Well, let's look at loving this space in server specifics. And look at it! Loving this space made the most money server specific wise. And here we can see that the Chinese community freaking love, love it in space. <laughs> and this is such a massive surprise because you consider the Chinese gacha community and how men adverse they are, but the audience is there. The Chinese keep pushing back against any male character in any gacha game. 
but the women are there and they are not gonna take it laying down. They got love in this space and they are here representing it. And this is absolutely amazing to me that love in this space is the highest grossing Chinese gacha game right now. Isn't that freaking amazing? And by a lot, this is almost like 20k difference between Star Rail and it. Gotta tap into the female market. Yeah, absolutely. This is smart. I mean, hey, let's, let's be real. Female like to coom as well. It is what it is. Give us that good good. But it's so surprising because if you consider this is 60, uh, 62 million. 55 million is only from China. Which means that 12 million is from outside of China. So like if you look here, love in this space is gonna be like so lower down the down here, right? Like I don't even see it. Where is it? Love in this space here. Global. So that's kind of crazy to to see how much China is carrying, and this is very surprising because generally speaking, you see Chinese servers like carrying in terms of like revenue, because they tend to spend more. Um, but here, surprisingly, global Honkai Star Rail spend more money than Chinese Honkai Star Rail, and obviously this like globally there's potential for more players, etc., etc. But generally, it's definitely the other way around, right? So uh, this is very surprising to me. It's really, really cool to see that Love in this space is not losing speed. I, I actually love to see it. And yeah, it's not for everybody. Some people are not into it. Some like, I'm sure like not every guy is going to be super into this, but there's a lot of ladies and potentially, you know, like LGBT or bi curious men that want to have a look that are giving this a try. And uh, I'm actually very happy because it's nice to finally have a bit more... Um, just games geared toward different people. And I think this is great to see. I, I do want to play Love in Deep Space. I've had some issues with my uh, emulator when I tried to play it because it's, it doesn't have a PC client, right? But I've been told, I've seen earlier that it actually seems to work better with Moomoo emulator. So I'm definitely going to give that a try. And um, yeah, I, I think this is awesome. So overall, uh, I... Listen, I'm not going to be one of those, you know, I'm not making a war between gachas. I'm just looking at what I see. I'm trying to understand and, like, draw some conclusion out of it. I'm not saying, like, a game is dead or a game is better or another game is dying. This is not what this is about. I think it's kind of nice to see or to, to go over everything and, like, kind of try to understand why a game has been doing better or worse. And, uh, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. So let me know if you appreciate this type of content. In the comments, like, subscribe, all the good, good. And don't forget to catch me up on Twitch. Bye! Let me leave space forever.